been 48 hours now. The lilac petals have been uh, sitting and steeping in the water. A uh, few things we did while you off of camera. We mixed the sugar in the pot with uh, two cans of Chenin Blanc along with five cups of sugar. All right, so it's time to open up and see what kind of brown liquid we have here. That's probably what it's going to look like along with the flower petals. Set that aside. Okay, there is your flower petals. Kind of looks a little bit like rice. Now what we're going to have to do is squeeze the last juice out of it. Unlike a lot of the wines where you don't squeeze to get the juice because you'll end up getting a lot of pectin and other things that you don't want. With this one you really want to squeeze and get the juice out to get the last flavor. I'm just going to call in the power of Grayskull here. <laughs> All right. Now we'll get that in the sink. And the next thing we need to do is add the juice and the sugar. All the sugar and the juice help, should help bring up the uh, specific gravity or the thickness of the water or the thickness of the musk up to a level that will bring the alcohol content up high enough. Now what I've done is I've mixed all of the, uh, the yeast nutrient that I need to add along with the acid blend and along with the tannin because the tannin is very dry and if you just pour it on there it tends to clump up. I like to mix it together. It blends a little easier when I mix it in. And stir that in. Another thing that we did while you weren't well off camera was we started a yeast starter, just a small one, just to get things going. Listen closely. Probably hear the hissing. That's just the CO2 being released. The yeasts are really going. I'm using a Pasteur uh, champagne yeast, which will ferment out almost all the sugar that's in the uh, that's in the must. I'm going to drizzle that on top. that out. Now I'm going to have to add up, add some water to bring it up to five gallons. Probably should have done that before, but it's not going to matter. That yeast starter is already going. right about there. The only thing I do need to do now is check the specific gravity, which is the thickness of the wine. I do it in the bucket. I know some people say not to do it in the bucket. We're at right around 1.090. 1.090 will give us a potential alcohol of 12%, which is uh, pretty good for a wine. I might want to thin it up. I generally don't like a lilac wine that high alcohol. And that's about it. Uh, we'll see you in about seven days or maybe less and I'll show you what it looks like when it's really going full royal in a rolling uh, fermentation. So until then, we'll see you next time.